Greetings, friends. Uh, welcome and thank you for watching this video. And I'm so excited that uh, you were able to join me on this video. You see, I see a lot of people asking me questions on YouTube, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on different platforms where I am active. And one of the questions that I get is about selection into psychology, selection into programs. And people ask me about the marks. Whether should they get 60, whether should they get 65, whether should they get 70. And I usually tell people that always aim, aim for high marks. And this video, I shared a motivation, encouragement, and guideline that can help you excel academically. And I want to take you back so that you listen to this video because I took some time just to share you and I hope that this video motivates you to want to perform well academically. I shared in some of the videos that I wasn't one of those high achievers at school, but I think as I grew, as I made sure, as I understood that people who are actually called genius, not all of them, are just genius naturally most of them you find that actually hard-working individuals who start to achieve high marks and perform above the majority and we call them genius we call them you know high achievers but these are mostly hard-working individuals who just do what you and me who don't achieve well don't do and i want to encourage you with this video to show you that if you are determined if you are dedicated you can also become a high achiever that you desire to be. And this video will tell you and motivate you and encourage you on how to do that. I hope you will enjoy as you watch it. Let's go to the video and enjoy. Hi friends, just a quick break. I know you're enjoying this program, but I just want to answer some few questions about people who still want guidance on how to access the book. You know what I usually recommend? That make sure that you get an ebook. An ebook, you can get it on Amazon and follow their process. Just click on the link below this video and then follow their, their process and you'll be able to get the book. I like the ebook process with Amazon because it is instant. You buy the book, you get it immediately on your gadget. But if you are in South Africa, and you want to get a hard copy posted directly to your home address without leaving your house, all you have to do, there's a link below this video from our printers who were kind enough to help us with distributing the book. All you have to do, click on the link, fill the form, and they will be able to communicate with you on how to get the book. Usually it takes about 72 hours to get the book to you. And many people have been getting their books, so don't be left behind. See the links below this video on how to get the books, whether on Amazon or for it to be posted to your home address. Let's go back and enjoy the program. Hi friends, this is Dr. T and I welcome you today and I am excited because I want to just speak about careers and I want to speak mainly about those in a uh, career decision making stage. This is just a short video just to encourage you. Some of you need some form of motivation. Don't ever be discouraged. If you want uh, to share about where you are and you want advice, please put your comments down here and I will be able to give you an advice and then I will be able to get back to you. But be encouraged, don't be discouraged. Whatever journey that you want to follow, I can assure you that it is possible. You just need to put your mind into it. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't be something that you desire to be. Anything that you want to be, some of us, we are where we are, not because we are the best or the genius of the class. I was actually sharing with somebody that, yo, at high school, I never used to study at all. I think I started to study at, uh, what, maybe at honors, yeah. I think when I get to honors, that's when I started to study, open a book and study, go to the library. I used to go to the library to do a homeworks at high school. Because they will tell us if you need a book or you need information, go to the library. I mean, you see kids even in the community, they go to the library, but not that I was studying. I went there to do a homework. The information we needed was in the library. So I think they were teaching us to be exposed to library. But in terms of studying, I think I studied at varsity level, at honors level. So I was 
generally an average student and maybe God just loves me, I passed. I started to take academics very serious at honors. Yeah, honors level. I started to be very, very committed uh, because the competition was tight and I really needed to pull my socks. So I don't come from a very privileged background academically. I went to a township school. So, I mean, but I became now a hard worker because I wanted to compete with my peers. And I look back, what I've achieved is just the result of just hard work. And I believe that if you put effort, I think that is why at this point, I don't believe there's anything unachievable academically. Because I saw it with me that I was just a playful student. Come back from school, put my bags there, go play soccer. I never used to study. I, I only realized later that, oh, these people who used to go get awards at high school, they were doing things we were not doing. They were studying, we were not studying. That's how you distinguish a genius and non-genius. If you dedicate, you can get awards. These people, they study. When you give them a book, they go and look for another one that explains that concept better. That's how they differ from us. When I got to varsity, at honors level, I did that. And I saw that there's a difference. Even you, if you dedicate, even that person you think is the smartest, you can, over, you can actually beat them. That's how I was when I got to varsity. Honors level, I was there. Undergrad, I was playful. So I want to encourage you that don't ever think there's something that you can achieve. I actually spoke to my principal. I wanted my grade level results just to share them with you. They are very embarrassing. Very embarrassing. <laughs> but I'm a doctor now. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. But they are very bad. That's how, how, how bad I was performing. So I want to encourage you. It doesn't matter how bad you are. If you put your mind to it, you will become anything that you want to be i want to encourage you there's no especially when you get to varsity genius whatever doesn't matter what matters is your commitment and dedication when you get to varsity we are all equal if you dedicate you spend more time you use more than what is prescribed i can assure you you will be very competitive most people will never compete with you if you want to become a doctor you can become if you want to become a psychologist you can become if you want to become an engineer a lawyer an attorney you can become that a pilot, nothing can stand on your way. You just need to be determined. Dedication, commitment, nobody can compete with that. I've seen that with my own life, and I wanted to encourage you that never be discouraged by how you are performing now. Don't let a temporary situation make you take permanent decisions that will alter your life. Tell yourself that this situation I'm in is temporary one thing about education i will tell you education can change your life you can come from a very poor background education can make you live a life that you always dreamt of but you need to dedicate to that particular course if you are in a poor background when you look outside the window nothing encourage you education can move you out of that context you get high marks, you get a rest. Your life has changed. You get into a rest, you get high marks, you get scholarship, you pass well, you are guaranteed a job, a very good job. That's what education can do. Education can make you leave your home. Your home. Look at Tusom Beu. I mean, yeah, Beu, whatever the name is. The lady is an actor. I mean, she speak about she had no parents, living no coco or whatever. But look at where she is now by dedication, commitment. And I want to encourage you that if you commit to what you do, you will become anything that you want to be. Never be discouraged. Never let anything discourage you on your career journey. Enjoy, dedicate, and commit to it. Before I close, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, I want to encourage you that click on the subscribe button, subscribe, click on the bell as well, uh, like the video, so that every time I, I, I share the video, you can be able to get a notification, click that bell. Share this video with as many people as possible. There are many people who might want to know about careers. This channel is about careers. 
share the channel share it with as many people as possible spread the word about this channel and the work that we do and let people know and get information about curious enjoy the day have uh, a very beautiful day